Okay, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. So, I hope you enjoyed the last video as much as I did making it. That was a fun flight. So today, what we're going to do, let's hop into our career mode here. So, it looks like I am ready for my instrument rating. I went through some of these trainings. Um, so we're gonna give this a go today. Cost 10,000 credits. And then we can try it as many times as we want. So it looks like we got a pretty basic flight plan here above the clouds. So we're gonna try our best to fly everything to the T. Let's check our briefing here. Okay, it looks like we're starting in the air and then we're gonna be landing at the airport. Let's get over here. So yeah, I think we're starting here, flying to this waypoint, the second waypoint, and then we should be coming into land. So it seems pretty basic, so let's hop right in and get to it. Okay, I know that good. this weather can look daunting, but you will be able to perform your approach by relying on your aircraft's instruments, just like you did in your training. Cessna 584 reset transponder. Squawk tree 125. Alright, we had to change our transponder. 3125. Alright, let's climb down to 2100 feet. Or descend down to 2100 feet. We're going to get lined up on that magenta line. Let's start our turn in. Get over to the left just a little bit. Trying to stay at 2100 feet best we can. We're going to fly here to our next waypoint. We're off track just a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't penalize us too bad for that. Switch back to visual flight rules before landing. Identifying the runway lights should help you during the transition. Okay, now we're going to make our next turn. Cessna 584, you are 1-1 one, one miles east of Sumberg. Contact tower on 118.25 one, when inbound on the approach. And now we're just waiting for the ILS. Cessna 584, acknowledge last transmission. Tower on 118.25, Cessna 584. Okay, we're watching for the glide slope. Okay, we're looking for our mark. Alright, I think that gray line is our glide slope. We're a little low, we can bring up the nose, the hair. Go ahead and reduce our speed. Trying to keep that gray diamond right in the middle. We're off course just a hair. I see the runway there on the screen. 
get her slowed down. And as you can see, there's nothing in the cockpit. We can see we're going off all instruments here. And we could get over just a little bit more. Go ahead and deploy our first notch of flaps there. Give a little more throttle back. We're a little high, we can descend down just a hair more. full flaps get our speed adjusted accordingly we need to get back on track it's a little bit challenging we got that gray ball right back in the center you can see it right here we're watching that we're trying to stay on this track of course we got the runway and our visuals right here on our screen Turn on our flight director. I'd say we're coming in pretty good. Okay, we should see the runway any minute now. As soon as we pop out of these clouds. Oh, we got a runway in sight. And we are perfect on the Pappy lights. You can see those four lights off in the distance right there. Those indicate our altitude if we're too high or too low. Too white, too red mean we're good. Our speed is good. Flaps are down. Gears are obviously down. Now we just fly her down to the to the runway. Alright, we're back on visual approach now. Try to hit that center line best we can. Okay. Start to flare. Pull back our power. Oh, okay, we're down. Oh, we had a little bounce on landing, but that's okay. And we'll get our brakes down. Okay, we made it. Uh, hopefully they don't penalize us too bad for being off track like we were, but we weren't too far off. We followed that glide slope all the way down just like we were supposed to. And, oh wow, it's having us taxi down the runway. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Don't penalize us, okay, good. I was worried we were going to get stopped. Why won't it let me announce parking? Well, we'll just have to take a point on that, I guess. Because it's not letting me... It's not letting me do the next step. Let's see if we can do it in here. Sunberg Airport information, Charlie Zero, four zero zero Zulu. Wind yeah, it's not letting me do it. At one two. Visibility, three quarters mile. Sky condition, ceiling 1,800 feet overcast. Temperature, one five. Dew point, one tree. QNH one zero, one tree two five. It's okay, I tried ILS to do it, but it wouldn't let me. In use. Landing and departing runway two seven. All aircraft read back. Hold Where's short instructions. Park? Advise controller on initial contact. You what? have Charlie. It's having me park over there. All right. Sunberg Airport information. Get our flaps back up. I don't know why it wouldn't let me use ATC. That's strange. That's okay, we'll take the hit on it and hopefully they don't penalize us too bad. Alright, let's kill the engine.
Let's see Great how we job. did. You passed the test. There's a few areas where you could improve, but that was a solid performance. So we, yeah. So it did deduct us a point for radio communications, but that's okay. We still got an A. We passed with a B. Uh, we could have done better on altitudes, but that's all right. Let's get. Oh, this is something else. All right. So we passed the test. We have our IFR rating. And we can fly in lots of weather now. No more rainy, cloudy, snowy, or poor visibility limitations. Sweet. That's cool. So next currency will probably be night or tailwheel. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.